Other news, eight people detained today by the CHP. It happened during a protest at the state's Capitol Swing Space office building. Yeah, the workers union held a protest inside that office building where the governor works to send him a message, they say. KCRA 3 Capitol correspondent Ashley Zavala joins us live from the newsroom to explain what the group was asking for, Ashley. Lisa and Andrea, state workers say they're on week number six without a contract and say so far negotiations are not going their way. SEIU local 1,000 workers protested in and outside of the state capitol swing space, which is where officers and lawmakers have their offices. That's where they're located. Now, worker complaints include high turnover, workplace safety issues, inadequate benefits, and low pay. Demonstrators first blocked a stairwell then the security lanes, and then the front entrance of the building before the, some were detained. Workers say they want to be heard, while Governor Newsom earlier this week said he's optimistic. They've drawn this out. We put out an economic proposal many months ago for 30% raise, which they rebuffed with a 6% raise over three years. It's just not enough. So it's just and uh, we've gone back and forth and we're still only at 8% right now. So we need to see more of them for all the sacrifices we made for California through the pandemic, for all the, you know, the inflation that we've experienced. You know, that's just not going to cut it. It's, people aren't making ends meet right now. I support a new contract and I believe in they deserve better pay and we're in the middle of negotiations and I'm feeling optimistic. And I literally will say not one more word because I ain't going to screw it up. Now, earlier this week, dozens of state lawmakers sent Governor Newsom a letter siding with state workers and urging his administration to come to an agreement and give workers a fair contract. They note without a contract right now, some workers are losing between $300 to $500 a paycheck. Uh, Ashley, it looked like we saw some people being walked away in handcuffs. Do we know who was detained or why? Yeah, we know a couple of them are some big names, former assembly member and leader of the California Labor Federation, Lorena Gonzalez, and Sacramento City Council member Katie Valenzuela were among the eight. Now, Superintendent of Public Instruction Tony Thurmond was also there in support, but he was not detained. We do know just from event organizers that some protesters went into this event with the intent of getting detained. So that was their intent there yes. being there today.